fact or fiction? Welcome back to episode 3 of Writing with Sandhya. So what do you think sells more? Fact or fiction? What do you like more? Comment below. And while you're doing that, I just want to thank you. Um, and across 100 subscribers and I was so excited about that. Uh, it may not be big by YouTube standards, but this is my first channel, so it made me pretty happy. And my first video crossed 500 views, 550 views, I think. So, yeah, very happy with how everything is going. So, what did you think? Fact or fiction? So, the answer is fact. I think the world loves fact or non-fiction books and literature and writing uh, a lot more than fiction. Um, more non-fiction books are published all over the world and that's true in India as well. The fiction, non-fiction market is close to 26 billion and uh, growing. It's been, it grew by like 10% last year. Uh, whereas the fiction market is about half of that and has actually shown a slight decline. So clearly I think the market, the readers as well as the publishers are looking for non-fiction books more. So that's why I thought I'll start with the, this episode um, and we'll do fiction next time although fiction is you know close to my heart so uh, what was the best-selling book of 2020 you know can you guess uh, it was barack obama's memoir a promised land uh, i think that sold over two and a half million copies so i think that's uh, one of the genres of nonfiction, as we learned in episode two and um, so what are the other top uh, selling nonfiction genres as I already mentioned, there's this whole, uh, you know, memoir, biography kind of section. Then self-help. Self-help is a big thing. And the pandemic, we're all turning to some kind of help for that. And, you know, business, academic kind of books. So these are kind of the top three genres for nonfiction books um, globally as well as in India. A lot more detail over there as well. So let's talk about that a little bit. Right. So the top one. Uh, so you might have heard the terms memoir, biography, autobiography. So what's the difference? I think autobiography, all of us know, are, uh, you know, somebody telling one's own story, um, just like, as I said, my father's did. And uh, biography, someone else writing someone else's story or your story. So it's uh, not written in first person and it is... Uh, someone else either it's been recounted to them or they've done some research and came up with it and memoir uh, memoir um, is often interchanged with biography or autobiography but it's actually dealing with uh, a period of time in life or certain events which have shaped so it doesn't really uh, you know cover everything chronologically end to end the way uh, the autobiographies and biographies do so that's the subtle differences between the three and in India, celebrity writing does very well here or, you know, writing about uh, celebrities um, and they also get made into biopics. So I think that's a huge market over here. Uh, Self-help, there's a whole amount to it. Um, of course, over here, we particularly are inclined to, you know, spiritual and religious books. There's uh, on uh, philosophy, on health, fitness. Uh, mental wellness, uh, you know, that's a big thing these days and psychological well-being. Uh, so just comment below, what's your favorite self-help book? Uh, there could be any, uh, so many, right? So I think uh, that's a huge market uh, anywhere in the world. On business and academic books, uh, in India, the big market is education books. That's still the number one kind of selling. It's like a captive market, right? It's about a subject. And if someone has written about it and it's being taught in schools or colleges, that's what we mean by a captive market. And uh, you have business and technical books. I already spoke about, you know, technical uh, writing, but there's also business writing and, uh, you know, management, leadership, those kind of books. Uh, also things dealing with a particular topic, you know, so they may be an expert talking about a particular topic. So that's another genre which is good. And um, so these, and I talked last time about all the genres. So here are a few of the subgenres, and you know, in later episodes, I might just pick one and uh, go into it uh, in full uh, detail, um, or we may even do a workshop on that. Um, so let me know which ones you're interested in, and we can get into that a little bit more. So while we're talking about this here, so now we have, I hope, like in your mind, if you're a writer, you're formulated 
all right this is what i want to do i want to write a book or you know start a blog um, <coughs> this is the general uh, this is the media in which i want it i want it printed or online we talked about that in the first episode in the second episode we talked about genres so either you already have an idea and you know now which genre it fits into or this might have given you some inspiration and ideas uh, for something to write about um, you know for memoirs or fiction just look around you it could be your own story uh, whether you're a celebrity or not you have something which you have done and to share with the world how about somebody around you uh, i remember attending vikram seth's uh, book launch no not his suitable boy but his next another book of his and he actually wrote about his uncle and aunt and he had uh, you know, found some notes about them, found it very fascinating and wrote a book about that. Uh, just go and do your research and, you know, find out which book it is. But, uh, you know, there's nothing preventing any of us to look for interesting stories that are there, you know, all around us. Um, so it could just even be an interesting character you met um, and that could just, you know, form into a short story perhaps. So think about that, you know, if you just want to write and you're wondering what topic, I mean, this could be some things you could talk about. Another thing I wanted to cover in this uh, uh, vlog is uh, a, another way of categorizing, which if you know attend like a writing class or something, you often come across these terms. Um, and there may be some have three types, four types, five types, seven types of nonfiction. But let me talk about the four main types that typically come up, right? So that's expository, narrative, persuasive, and descriptive. So expository is when you're expounding on something, when you're doing a lot of uh, deep research and analysis. It could be about events, it could be about a trend um, so, or some natural phenomena, and then you uh, write about it. So that's expository uh, nonfiction. That is helpful for someone who's uh, learning it, you know, for the first time. Narrative nonfiction, and that's like huge right now, um, you know, especially since the pandemic, I think, uh, there has, uh, the publishers have been looking for more of these kind of books and the readers have also been, you know, seeking out these kind of books. So as I also mentioned, it's, um, you know, biographies and all of that, that form as part of this category, it discusses facts. So it's, uh, but in terms of a narrative or a story. So, and it uses the regular book structure of uh, chapters and uh, organizing work uh, like a regular book unlike expository where it can be more like a thesis. Uh, persuasive nonfiction is when um, you take a point of view or a stand or an opinion on something and try to persuade the reader to your point of view, right? So um, there are many examples of this kind. Um, so, you know, just do share if you kind of have uh, read any of these kinds of books, what category do you think they fall into? What do you particularly like? Um, so my friend Joyce had asked a question, what is the difference between, I think, discur discursive writing and, you know, uh, imaginative writing? So discursive writing is kind of a form of persuasive writing. Um, persuasive is trying to persuade you, but discursive is purely, you know, presenting the facts, like how you would do um, debates in school, uh, you know, just kind of pros and cons and present it to the <coughs> to the people who are listening and uh, they have to take the final call. So that's discursive where you're just dealing with facts, which is the complete opposite of obviously imaginative and creative writing. So there you go. That's the difference, right? So in school, you may be called upon to write an essay, which is discursive, which is uh, more about uh, deep diving into a subject and understanding uh, both sides of it. And imagination and is just, you know, from your own you just create something from your own um, imagination. So descriptive nonfiction is where you're describing things in a lot of detail. A typical uh, one is, of course, travel books. And uh, so that's another that's another favorite genre of mine, but uh, it has a very niche kind of a segment. Uh, I did want to mention <clears throat> cookbooks. You know, last time, too, I talked about two cookbooks uh, and everyone liking that. Here's an interesting one by Padma Lakshmi, you know, the favorite, uh, 
you know, actor, presenter. She, she's written a cookbook called Tangy Tart, Hot and Sweet. And what's interesting about this is she's also written little stories as she goes along. And this is called a food war, you know. Uh, it's a memoir, but with food in it because it doesn't particularly categorize any other way, but uh, it is. Um, and one of my favorite, uh, you know, publications, Lonely Planet, which is Lonely Planet, sorry, which unfortunately seems to be going out of print. Um, you know, Greece, one of my favorite holidays over here. But yeah, travel books, travel books are like these where you do research and you write about it. So, um, and the true life stories, and we have autobiographies, we have true crime. Um, my publisher, Sanjeev Mathur, has written Gunning for the Godman, and this is doing extremely well, a bestseller. And it's sort of deep dived, I found out all the facts about a particular sensational story and presented it to the public. Um, so that's also something you can look out for. Is there something which has happened? Um, is that something which you would like to uh, you know, uh, learn more about and share with the public. So this time we've talked about nonfiction. Next time we'll talk about fiction. So see you again next uh, sir, next weekend. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, you know, you see my little face in the corner. You can click there and you can hit subscribe or you can go down and hit subscribe. Like, comment, share if you like it. Share it with people whom you think it'll be interesting to. Uh, could be students or anybody who wants to write. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.